Uh, well, the Swan here, uh, LK243, is a wonderful legacy of Shetland's fishing history. Uh, fishing has always been important to the Shetland economy, and no more so than the herring fishery. At the start of the 20th century, there were 400 boats like this fishing out of Shetland. Uh, and in 1905, uh, there was more herring landed in Shetland than any other part of Scotland. Some people even spoke about Lerwick being the herring capital of Europe at that time. And those days, of course, have gone now, and all we have left are a few uh, exhibits in a museum and lots of black and white photographs. Uh, there's very little tangible remaining from those days. And it was that belief that we had to try to do something to capture our history better that led to the formation of the Swan Trust in 1990. The Swan Trust were a group of individuals who had come together once it was known that the Swan, that was pretty much a wreck, was lying in Hartlepool. Uh, and the Swan Trust was formed as an organisation with the objective of restoring the Swan back to how she would have looked and how she would have sailed when she was built in 1900. She was one of Shetland's main sail herring boats, but she was particularly important because she was built in Lerwick at Hayes shipyard. So for all those reasons, uh, money was raised locally and eventually, after a fairly long period of time, she was completely rebuilt and you can see the result of that wonderful job here today. The Swan Trust has two objectives. Uh, the first is to uh, use the Swan as a living reminder of our incredible fishing history in Shetland. And it's done that uh, uh, wonderfully well over the last 25 years. The second objective is to make sure that uh, the next generation of young Shetlanders know what it's like to sail an old wooden fishing boat uh, so that those skills of sailing uh, a boat of this size and this design are not lost. And both those objectives have been uh, fulfilled and achieved incredibly well over the last uh, 25 years. During that time the Swan has sailed all around Shetland during a busy summer season. She's sailed throughout the North Atlantic, she's been to Faroe, she's been to Norway, she's even been as far north as Iceland. And of course she's taken part in many of the tall ships races, has sailed throughout the North Sea and has attended many boat festivals, including of course the Port Soy Boat Festival. Uh, her volunteer crew uh, uh, throughout that period uh, have continued to make sure that she's able to do that. But the wonderful thing for me uh, is the hundreds, if not thousands, of people who have sailed on her. Some people go for a day, some people go for a weekend, and some people go for a week or a couple of weeks. And all of these experiences, all of these people have experienced, whether the Shetlanders or people from outside Shetland, the wonderful uh, uh, experience of living, working and sailing a boat like this. And it's particularly heartening to see the large numbers of young people from Shetland, people who are at school, who go on board uh, the Swan and take part in some of the trips. And it's an incredible uh, 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 tool to help build someone's character. There are wonderful stories of many parents who say that the child or the person who came back after a two week trip on the Swan is a completely different uh, person to the child that went away. Um, they keep things tidy, they're keen to help with the washing up and they seem to have an ability to get along with uh, all different kinds of people in a way they, they couldn't before. And there's nothing like living together in the cramped quarters of a boat uh, to engender that kind of attitude. So it really has been incredibly an incredibly uh, great uh, uh, thing for Shetland to have had this wonderful boat. So we're very proud of her in Shetland and we're really proud to come to festivals like the Portsoy Boat Festival. Uh, 
and we hope that we will be able to continue to keep the swan in the incredibly good condition that she's in. Uh, but not only that, but we can keep her sailing and we can keep taking everyone on trips for the next 25 years.